Hello everyone. This is C O A D B dot com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Ward family. The first is blazoned Checky Or and Azure, a Bend Ermine. Crest, a Buck Passant proper, collared, lined, and ringed Or. This was the coat of arms of the Ward Baronets of Bixley. The Ward Baronetcy of Bixley in the county of Norfolk was created in the Baronetage of England on December 19, 1660 for Edward Ward. Sir Edward Ward was born around the year 1618, the son and heir of Thomas Ward and Anne Pert. Edward served as Sheriff of Norfolk twice in the year in the 1650s, and he married Elizabeth, daughter and heiress of John Harborn, and had issue with her. Next we have Or, a fret azure, or according to some sources, Sable. This was the coat of arms of Simon Ward who was born in Givendale, Yorkshire, around the year 1320, and died in Cambridge, Shire, in 1383. He married Margaret Maud and had issue with her. His daughter and heir, Benedicta Ward, married Sir John Babington of County Northumberland. Next we have Azure, a cross pate or. This was the coat of arms of Seth Ward, the Bishop of Exeter and the Bishop of Salisbury. He was also a mathematician and astronomer and a professor at Oxford University. Next we have Quarterly. First, Checky or and Azure, a bend ermine for Ward. Second, on a lion rampant double cued vert for Sutton, Baron Dudley. Third, or two lions passant garden in pale azure for summary. Fourth, argent a cross flory azure for Lexington. Crest, a lion sagin full faced azure. Another crest, out of a ducal coronet or a lion's head azure. Supporters, Two angels, propped, crined, and winged or under robes, sagun, uppermost azure. This was the coat of arms of the Ward family, who were Barons Dudley. Francis Sutton was born in 1611, the daughter of Sir Fernandino Sutton, the heir to the barony of Dudley. Following her father's death in 1621, she became heir apparent to the barony that was currently held by her grandfather, Edward Sutton, 5th Baron Dudley. In 1628, Edward arranged for his granddaughter to marry Humble Ward, the son of a wealthy London goldsmith, and she had four sons and three daughters with him. When Edward died in 1643, Francis inherited the title of Baroness of Dudley. Her husband was granted the title of Baron Ward of Birmingham by King Charles I, and the couple's descendants held both titles until the mid-18th century. The family was seated at Dudley Castle, the remains of which are seen here. Next we have quarterly, first and fourth, azure, across patons or for ward, second and third, gules, three cinquefoils, ermine on a chief or, a human heart of the first for Hamilton. Crest, a Saracen's head, a fronty cooped between the shoulders proper. Dexter, or that's the crest, I'm sorry. Supporters, Dexter, a knight 
in complete armor, all proper on his breast, a cross mulling gules behind him, flowing a crimson robe, a cross mulling argent on the sinister side of it, on the helmet, a plura of feathers of the last. His dexter hand resting upon a drawn sword, also proper, pommel and hilt, or the point to the ground. Sinister, a Turkish prince vested in blue and gold. The habit reaching to the ankles while stockings, yellow sandals, gold sash, and fringe around his waist. Behind him, a loose brown robe of fur. On his head, a white turban with black feathers. His bands chained together by a long chain proper. This was the coat of arms of the Viscount's Banger. Viscount Banger of Castle Ward in County Down was a title in the Peerage of Ireland that was created in 1781 for Bernard Ward, first Baron Banger, who represented Down in the Irish House of Commons. Next we have Argent on a chevron between three martlets sable as many bizants. Crest, a dexter arm in armor embowed, holding in the hand a petronel all proper. This coat of arms was confirmed in 1656 to Captain Peter Ward of Cape Stern or Capistern and afterwards of the city of Dublin. And lastly, we have Argent across Patance Azure. Crest, a lion, sagent, garden of fronty gules. This coat of arms was granted in 1713 to John Ward of Newmarket, a brewer who descended from the wards of County Leicester. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says Genealogy Research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which if any coat of arms belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.